So I've been getting some questions about InView articles and being able to put information or I say information drawings or designs on the inside and the back side or the front side and the back side of the material. So let's just take a project. We'll take these new um, table and chairs that just got added to version 2024 of the software and let's open it up in AI. So when we first come into AI, you'll get to see, um, you know, here's all our artboards because we have uh, two parts for each stool plus the the uh, seat um, and the bottom and then the same thing for the table uh, we've got multiple parts but anyway let's go grab these real quick um, I'm actually I'm going to take the 3d and I'm going to blow it up a little bit and there we go and then uh, the other thing we're probably going to want to do is be able to put some color on here. So I'm going to grab the window color. I'm just going to snap it in kind of maybe over here. All right. So we got our color. All right. So let's just start to kind of look where these are. at. So if I click on this piece here, you'll see it lights up. But if I click on the back side of it, you'll notice nothing lights up. Okay. But if I click on the front, it lights up. All right. And so what we're going to do is want to create some, you know, different rears of these. So if we also do the same thing with this, this chair leg, that one lights up, but we click the back of it, nothing lights up. So let's go ahead and we will create. So this is table leg one and two, and this is stool article one and two. So let's just make some rears of those. So we're going to do, uh, let's make a new, and we'll just call it back same thing new back doesn't really matter the name you can call it anything you want let's put this new back and last new back all right so now we've got a number of different uh articles so when we click on this side see you'll get that one now when I rotate around, kind of, actually, let's do this one. So click on this side to get that. Click on the back side, and you get that. So those are back and forth on that. So if we click on the table leg, you get that. And we click on the uh, other side, you get that one. So let's just start to have some fun. We'll throw some colors on here. So the first thing I'll do is maybe we'll get some sort of fun design. I don't know. Not a graphic artist i'm always going to make that disclaimer let's grab this fun swirly kind of cool color drop it out there put this over here and let's first start and we're going to see what it looks like on the tops of the tables so we'll drop this over here and there you go you get a nice design we'll make a copy of it place it and then let's shrink it down a little bit and you can see in real time as I'm doing this, uh, other things are getting colored. And maybe we even want that for on the bottom of here. So we'll make one more copy, paste it. And we'll, I think that's unfortunately a big image I brought in, but it's all right. Okay. And voila. So now we've got that on the, all the different sides. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and grab a rectangle. Get that draw up. And let's just draw some rectangles over our different pieces here. Okay, almost done. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and we'll start to put some color on it. So if I go and just start selecting these, it's doing the redraw of all the parts that I just put on, even though there are no color. And let's put like some green and um, same thing. There's probably a better way to do this. As I noted, I am not the graphic artist guy, but anyway, we'll just drop some different colors around here so you can see them. See what we'll end up with. Red. Uh, let's do, I don't know, this cool light blue. 
and some purple and uh voila all right wow you guys are probably saying man that chris guy he's an amazing artist but anyway you can see what we've done here is we have uh, colors on both sides and you guys out there in view users uh, that are uh, graphic artists could probably do a million times better than this but um, you get to see what we have and then by the way if we want to throw this up in our shared space so that our customer could sign off on it we'll just go ahead and do that real quick calling cool table and chairs we'll upload it all right so now we've got this up in our shared space let's just go take a look and uh, see how it comes together Voila. And then there's the chairs. So, you know, this is something you could send to your client, get them to sign off on it. I'm sure they'd want to change the colors. But anyway, thank you for taking the time.